Okay, we're off to go pick up the teardrop trailer. We're leaving Denver now on our way to Minnesota Trailer Company in St. Paul, Minnesota. Ah. All right, we're now in Iowa getting close to Council of Bluffs and a couple things I've noticed on the road is one that uh, we're on I-80 and this road has a lot of traffic I haven't traveled on the road a lot driving probably in the past five seven years and I can't believe how much more traffic there is on the road from the, when I used to do road trips and second of all I think I've heard there's a lot of RVs manufactured in Indiana and Iowa, but seeing tons of RVs heading west, people, new RVs going to dealers probably out west, and tons of them. You, can, you can't drive five minutes without seeing a new RV heading west. It's kind of a uh, cloudy day. It reminds me of what maybe Ohio would look like in the wintertime. But um, we're moving in the right direction. I'm at the Vistabule Manufacturing Warehouse. And all these trailers are currently being built. Okay, we're here at Vistabule, and this is the new trailer. Check it out. Here's the shop. This is your shop. We spent the day uh, cutting things for the shelves and putting stuff in there. So um, this is the beast. We'll let you know what it's like. I'll give you some more detailed information. We're pulling it with the uh, Subi, the Subaru Crosstrek, and we're ready to go. So we're off to our first night of camping. Alright, we just left Minnesota and are now in um, Iowa. Big heavy rainstorm and hoping the uh, teardrop trailer back there is dry as a bone. We will find out in a little bit. Uh, luckily the temperature is 37. So we do not have icy roads, just lots of rain. I woke up to the sound of chirping birds and I've never seen so many birds in one spot. They're everywhere. Kind of a rainy drizzly morning we parked in the super 8 parking lot last night and the trailer worked out pretty good it kept us warm we ran the heater all night and it was nice and toasty so having the heater is a, it's a good thing but man there's lots of birds everywhere Okay, getting back close to Colorado after picking up the trailer. And uh, I'm fine with it. It's in there that Flying J is your friend. You take a shower, eat some food. You can, if you search hard, you can find some nutritious food, but you've got to just search really hard. Uh, back at the store. But the trailer is, is towing nicely. Everything's working out well so far. But, uh, you know, some people say that uh, I don't even know it's back there. I can tell you I know it's back there because I can feel it, but it's not like towing a massive trailer. And 
I'm going to check the fridge right now to make sure that it's working correctly. Undo these tabs that keep the water from sneaking in on you while you're driving down the road. And let's open the fridge. There's the fridge. And it uh, looks like it's cold in there. I hope so. How cold is it? I don't know, but it does feel cold, so it should be working. And uh, so far, so good. All right, we're back in Colorado, greeted by a beautiful sunset. What do you think, Karina? It's perfect. And so um, we're almost home with the teardrop trailer. The trip was uneventful in a good way trailer pulled nicely, rode nicely, nothing fell apart, nothing was wet, and so far it's, it's holding up really good. There it is back there, hanging in there with some, some lights on now because it's getting dark, and so far so good.